Oh man, I'm so excited. We are back in the Finger Lakes. In New York for the next 10 or so days. We have officially made it on the water. One thing that took me off guard is it's hot and there's still a ton of grass that's alive here. I did not bring my punch rod. I did not bring my frog rod. Here we go. Yeah, we knew they'd be here. Get in the boat, get in the boat. Man, New York always treats me decent. Yeah, buddy. All right, figure out a little something. <laughs> that one came up and got it. I'd be willing to bet if we had a frog, we'd catch these fish on frogs. Well guys, that will conclude our first trip out in New York. It wasn't the greatest, but it wasn't the worst either. We're gonna venture to some new waters. Today we're going to an old faithful spot, the canal. This is probably the first place that I really started to fish out of a kayak. I knew they had to be biting a jig. Oh, I thought he was way smaller than that. Dude, come on now. This is like the perfect day ever. Wow, sent him to the moon. Another big one, I see another one over there. He's got black lipstick. Catching him on a frog and a jig, I love it. Whew. Trip number two in the books and a lot better than our first one. Good old trusty canal. Still excited to be back in New York fishing the Finger Lakes. It's an awesome place to fish. As always, I thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Dude, glad I brought these bibs, man. Holy crap. It's way colder here than Seneca Falls. But I think it's like 41 right now here. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. New York part three, uh, changing it up just a bit. We're here with my buddy, Bailey Eichbrick. Yeah. Bailey Eichbrick, I said that correctly. Right? You did, you nailed it. How many people mispronounce that? A lot, but just basically everybody. 99 out of yeah. 100? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> well, we're here with Bailey. Uh, he is a local to New York, the Finger Lakes. Give you a humble brag, but I, man, you're up there. He's one of the best kayak anglers in New York. You know yeah. that. And the, result, the results it. back it up. You got AOI this year for the yeah. NYKBF. Got a Hobie, Hobie BOS win? I got a BOS win on Ufala. You won a couple other ones? Yeah, I've got four wins out here locally. It's like one of those years though. You just like, yeah, can't everything went right. You're just feeling it, you're yeah. vibing. But uh, right. nah, today we're out here on Cuca Lake with Bailey. Gonna be honest with you, he's got the spots. He's the guide today. I'm totally tagging along, just mooching off of him. Interesting weather, uh, you know. <laughs> As I, we say. <laughs> yeah, we came into New York the other day and it was like hot, I had to put sunscreen on. Now today it's about 41 degrees, it's raining, <laughs> cold. Yeah, what, what are we doing today? Yeah, man, honestly, you know, so these conditions suck, but mm -hmm. in New York in the fall, these are the conditions you want. Really? These are the conditions that uh, uglier the better, uglier? which is the, the hard part, which is nice for us because you know the fair weather fishermen at home so more for us but yeah when they're like this these fish are chewing so they should should be schooling so. i like that and you got you have a youtube channel and social media too yeah. serious angler yeah, and serious then, angler's the podcast be the fish is the youtube channel that's you and you actually put a lot of your tournament videos yeah. on uh, youtube be the fish okay yeah. so that is going to be the plan today guys we're going to go out there fish with bailey and you're going to be filming oh yeah we'll go out there we'll fish and then we'll kind of reconvene at the end uh, man i hope and this could very well be possible we talk at the end you're like yeah i caught like 100 fish and i'll be like yeah i caught like five <laughs> <laughs> but the good news is then you can go see on his channel how he did that. Yeah. sharing the juice. Okay. All right. I appreciate that. Yeah. Well, the uh, sun's popping up. The rain's kind of coming down. Yeah. We might have a gap in the weather here. Yeah. So I guess we'll <laughs> get out there. You ready, man? Heck yeah. Let's, Let's do it. it.
Oh, really? It was a smallmouth? Are you seeing them on your uh, live, Bailey? You're seeing them already? Yeah. On the live. That's why I stopped. Oh. I put it down when I saw the grass. <laughs> All right, guys, so I'll uh, try to explain as best I can. I mean, Bailey explained better, but out here, we just stopped. Bailey put down his uh, hummingbird live just to check if they were here, and he said he's already seeing bass right in front of us. 20, 23 foot of water. I don't know, guys, what do you think? Next year, should we get a like a live, live system on the kayak? I've thought about it. It would be nice just to, like confirm if fish were at a spot you know just kind of like point towards it and see if there's actually fish there i don't know i've got mixed emotions on it but we'll see little top spin. I'm just letting it sink down into the grass and taking it over. <laughs> That's crazy. You can actually see him follow it. There's some bait down there. A little activity. I wonder if that's bait or bass. Biting it. Come on, get it again. Dang it. Missed it. Missed opportunity. Dude, they're pecking at it. I think they might be like perch or bluegill. Must be. Little peckers. <laughs> I feel like that one got my bait. Oh, see? They bit off the tail. Gotta be small. Whatever they are, they gotta be tiny. There we go. Smally. Alright. 
Well, there's at least one bass down there. Pretty brown one. First spot, a couple of bites, nothing crazy. Yeah, it usually turns on about 10 o'clock or so, but it's on the way to our other spots, so it's just worth checking out. We caught a couple, not yep. nothing big, but hopefully when these wake boats are gone, we can <laughs> go back and fish this thing in the afternoon. Wake boats in October? Up. It's 40 degrees out. It never ends, man, it never ends. But we're gonna go hit some of these offshore humps. Gotta find some cool little smallmouth, throw the A-rig, throw the drop shot, I'll show you guys this thing on, on the Mega Live. The first spot, you could see them. You could oh, literally... yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's kind of like it's interesting. There's a shallow grass and it breaks off the sand and then it starts deeper grass again. We get some kind of coontail in like 20, 25 foot. Put the mega live down, start panning around, see them somewhere around the grass and start getting into a little bit. Yeah. They should turn on as the day goes on. It's a nice thing to kind of get some confidence. Like, okay, they're here. Yeah. And you can kind of be more efficient with, you know, cycling through baits and approach. So. God, you're you making a good case for me now to <laughs> get something <laughs> like that. People think it's just a fish catching thing or it's just finding fish. I mean, it is, but it's more of an efficiency tool than anything else if you use it. Definitely. Yeah. All right, spot number two coming on up. Oh, I see. I think I see a fish on my ancient piece of history. I'm serious. Oh, dude, I'm not even joking. I think one's going down to my bait right now. Get it. Got one on the jig. All right, micro, but we'll take her. I think they're in the grass up here. Yeah, that's the second one. There's like the grass in 23. I think they're sitting on it. Yeah, jig. Oh, man. Nah, that's a snag. This is the grass that's down there though. Nice healthy grass in 20, 20, 25 foot. There we go. That's a good one. Oh, it's a big one. Oh my God. Yeah. Jeez Louise, that's a big brown one. Oh yeah, there we go. Nice. It's a couple underneath me too. It's pretty good. Choked. Football. Nice. All right, your guide service works, man. It's up shallower, dude. Yeah.
<laughs> it's the weekend, man. They don't eat on the weekends, right? Oh, but I got bumped right there. Uh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, no, brown one. Jig's a deal, man. Bottom baits. He's a fatty. Oh, his mouth is clamped shut. Couldn't tell you. There's another mushy bite, though. My hands are like frozen. Yeah. Another pretty fish. You're right, they were smallies, where that one was. Oh, there we go. Oh, it came off. Dang it. He hit that one on the fall. Just didn't get a good hook in him. There we go. They're on the grass line. Oh, Larky. Definitely on the grass line. I think they like, because I've talked to Bailey and he's having a lot of fish follow his A-rig and see, seeing him suspended. I almost feel like a lot of these fish are seeing my jig and just kind of following it to the bottom. So I'm wondering if they're just seeing it and following it down and eating it. It's surprising they're not eating anything moving though. All right, 12.30, moving back to the first spot, update. How's the day going? Do you believe in the curse that I bring bad luck to all fisheries? Part of it is, might be slightly believing the curse, <laughs> but also I think it's just I'm not a good guy. So nah. Well, the fish are just not cooperating. I mean, we got some, but yeah. you're you're like seeing on your mega live them just following the baits. Yeah, they'll follow it. They'll eat the ends of the A rig, and I think it might be a color thing. I tried switching colors. They did the same exact thing. I'm trying to hit a timing window here. It's the afternoon. This is when the largemouth start to eat. Especially on this lake, for some reason, largemouth don't really get active until about 10, 30, 11 o'clock. So now it's noon. I think we can probably get a few. We're gonna fish some specific targets and see if we can't uh, run into a few big ones. All right. I say that. But <laughs> I've said that about every place we fish so far today. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm telling you, it's me. It's not you. It's it's not even the fish. It's me. Big six pounder. <laughs> Called it. Oh my god. Holy smokes, dude. That's a really big fish. Freaking Sanko. Dude. I definitely want to get some pictures. Alright, do you want a landscape or? You have your board by chance? I don't. You want my board? Yeah, you can come over here. Doesn't look like a New York fish. Oh, Holy smokes, man. Go crazy. That's huge. <laughs> That's a huge Bigger fish, scale. dude. It's gotta be 22, right? 22. Oh 22 incher. What? 22. <laughs> That's the biggest New York bass I've ever seen. I'm gonna say six and a half. Six and a half? Yeah. What are you gonna bring? Uh, six, three. Oh, you guys are close. Six, six. Six, 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 six seven. Giant fish, dude. 22 inches and only six pounds. That's messed up. That's your biggest large mouth. Lengthwise, yeah. Ooh, that's a beast. Is that the video? There's a the mouth. That's a tank. <laughs> that's awesome. Glad we made that adjustment. <laughs> There you go. 
Now it's a YouTube video. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> all right, let me just uh, poach your spot real quick. Dude, yeah, by all means. I don't even know where I'm fishing. Did you see that fish on the Mega? Yeah. Did you really? <laughs> Saw it in the grass. Oh my goodness. So if you, if you see this trail of waypoints right there, I think I, yeah, I see your general location. I got my picture today. <laughs> There we go. Uh, I think it's, yeah, it seems pretty good. I don't think it's a six and a half pounder, but I think she's good. Uh, yeah, choked it, dude. Look at that chokage. Yeah. Nice. Man, they're eating the jig really good. Like every one of them has been like, they're swallowing. It's in their crushers. You would have won big fish of the tournament in the boat tournament today. Yeah, I think you, you would have had it pretty locked down. Man, that's crazy. Whoop. Uh oh, uh, I mean, I don't, I still don't think it's going to beat your six and a half, maybe like a three, four. Nah, 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 I don't think he's that big. Maybe though, I don't know, it's hard to say. He feels big and then he feels small. Oh yeah. 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 No, I mean, it's like four, I'd say. Oh. Yeah. All right, thank you. Nice. All right, you're uh, gonna get a good Yelp rating now for your guide service. Yeah. Am I making up for my poor guide service? Look how fat that thing is. I know, right? So healthy. No, you're right. They turned on, or they're more turned on. Ah, all right, man. Day's over. Well, Mr. Guide, how'd it go? What what happened today? Honestly, I, I didn't think uh, I didn't even think we hit half of our expectations going into today. That's Your expectations. Slow. Yeah, I had a great day. Probably a nice switch from the Delta. Yeah, nice switch from skunking too. Yeah. No, dude, I had a good time. I mean, I know that you were thinking there was a potential 40, 50, 60, 70 yeah. fish day. Yeah. And maybe there was, and they were there. You saw them. Yeah, they were there. They were chasing. They were getting the tails of that A rig in the swim bay. Like, they're being really finicky, but then you started getting some on, on grass lines with the football jig. And it, it was just an interesting bite. It, it, I think if the water temps, like I told you first thing in the morning, if they were like around the mid 50s, I think it would have been a much different day but we had a, a warmer trend this past week and then cold front comes in and pressure drop that should mean you know math equation here comes out and they, and they know it was warm off. because my first day in new york i was in a t-shirt and it was yeah. i was sweating and today it's freezing i was shivering my hands were frozen <laughs> i couldn't feel my fingers it's the thing you never know what fish. these fish are gonna do dang fish they're always uh tricky and uh but you were right i mean it, i think one of the cool things today was seeing like your hummingbird mega live and like seeing those fish follow your bait seeing the fish on the graph and that's like one thing that's something I've never really considered when you think about live imaging everyone's thinking about oh you can just throw it on a fish's head mm -hmm. and that's how you catch them it's not just that it's you can see fish are there first of all yeah. you don't have to guess if fish are in a spot and then you can kind of see them react to your bait see how they behave not waste as much time they weren't behaving today though no no not the way we wanted them to but yeah, I'll say the spots that you brought me to I, I caught a few I was I was happy man I caught a couple of nice brown ones that's you know something I haven't done in a long time you caught that may have been the biggest kayak that maybe the biggest biggest bass I've ever seen in New York in person. It was a long one. That fish that had the frame of one over seven. Yeah, 22 inches too. Mm -hmm. 22 I mean, inches. There's only been a handful of fish over 21 and a half that I've seen ever come out of New York for kayak tournaments. That's, that's my longest one I've ever caught. At least that, that, I've, nice one. that I've put on a board anyway. Yeah. 
No, but a fun day, man. And like I said, guys, uh, Bailey's got a channel, Be The Fish, and he's gonna post his day on his channel. So I will link that in the description below. So if you wanna see how the, the master did it and caught a freaking giant, then uh, go check out his channel, watch his video of uh, today's day out on the water. Thank you. Uh, yeah, man, any final words? Anything you wanna say? No, man, I wish we caught some more bass, but beyond that, it was fun. Dude, it was I was good to finally get out with you. Yeah, it's been a long yeah. time coming. Actually, it's kind of funny. Quick story, like, uh, man, I think the second or third year I did the kayak fishing tournaments around here in New York, I remember Bailey showing up, and man, you were young at the time, weren't you? Yeah, I was in the Field and Stream Shadow Caster. Oh. The barge of a paddle kayak. Yeah. Had no idea what I was doing. But you were like one of the youngest ones at, at the tournament, yeah, I think. Yeah, I, I think I was like 16. Yeah, right, you were in high school. Yeah. Yeah, funny, so yeah. way back when, it was the when I first met Bailey, back in the old uh, NYKBF days. I don't, was it even called that back then? I'm yeah, not even sure. It was sure. like eight to 10 people on the trail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was a long time ago, but yeah. uh, it was fun uh, to see him back then. And obviously, again, now uh, things have changed a lot. Uh, you know, you've dominated the kayak fishing world, at least here in New York and around the country. So it's uh, it's going good. It's going good, man. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I appreciate finally getting out to go fish. Yeah, dude. I'll have to do it again. We'll have to do it again. But uh, thanks for the guide trip today. A plus on no, the reviews. No tip. No, eh, we'll give you a <laughs> Didn't earn the tip. <laughs> Get you a beer. There but you uh, yeah, guys, as always, thank you for watching, for coming along. Go check out Bailey's channel, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.